The following is a talk given by His Holiness Jaya Pataka Swami Maharaj on June 12th, 2016 in Minneapolis, Minnesota, USA. The talk was given at a hall program. We'd like to welcome all the visiting devotees by offering a pronounce to all the Vaishnavas. So if you can join me uh, together. One chakalpaka. So uh, I have been uh, requested to welcome Zoninus uh, Jayapataka Swami on the behalf of the Minneapolis community devotees and also say a few words of, uh, of about His Holiness Jayapatak Swami. His Holiness Jayapatak Swami was born in April 1949 and in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He was born in, an, in a very opulent circumstances. His grandfather was the founder of a multi-million dollar paint company. At a very young age, Maharaj uh, was afflicted by a skin disease at the age of 11 actually. And uh, his grandfather suggested that he should take the names of God, which Maharaj did, and he did recover from the skin disease. Later, His Holiness Jayapataka Swami was glad to hear <laughs> that his name, Gordon John, when, when spelled, when it's pronounced a little differently, Gor Dan Jan. So Gordon John, when it's pronounced differently, Gor Dan Jan. Already suggested what Srila Prabhupada confirmed, that he and two other devotees were formerly associates of Lord Chaitanya, and that they had taken birth in the West to facilitate spreading Krishna consciousness all over the world. Vivo, vivo. Maharaj, as a young, as a young per, as a student, as a young person, was a meditative student, which finally led him to Brown University, got him admission into Brown University, and in Brown University he had a life transforming experience. He happened to attend a guest lecture on the life of Buddha, which moved him very uh, tremendously, and so at that time. Uh, Maharaj decided that his spiritual life is, is his calling and he started, he started his search for a spiritual master. After some attempts, he decided that he would need to travel to India to seek out a, a genuine spiritual master. So as he was making plans to travel to India, he happened to meet devotees who, uh, of his Divine Grace A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Shila Prabhupada who were on Harinam and book distribution and among those devotees was a most famous Jayananda, His Great Jayananda Prabhu who happens to be the father of Ratyatra. So very soon Maharaj decided to join the temple and in 1968 in 1968 his Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Shri Prabhupada, the founder Acharya of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, accepted him as a disciple, as his disciple. Soon after that, within a couple of years, in the year 1970, His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami awarded the Sanyas order or the Ranachit order to His Holiness Jayapataka Swami. Since then, Maharaj has been serving Srila Prabhupada in different capacities as in, regarding opening centers, handling the BBT, uh, accepting disciples, and also taking on the onerous task of being the GPC. Srila Prabhupada asked Maharaj 
to travel to India as Srila Prabhupada needed some help in introducing Krishna consciousness in India. So Maharaj travelled to India on a long term visa and as Maharaj travelled to India, he arrived in Bengal and very soon he learned Bengali, started home programs and Pandal programs and he even went to the level of actually learning how to do agriculture. In fact, he became so good in agriculture that the local Bengalis started asking him uh, about their uh, about agricultural questions. And so when he taught them agriculture, they taught them Bengali. Maharaj then uh, later on was given the responsibility of the, and this is how Maharaj actually uh, developed Krishna consciousness in India. And later on Maharaj had the task of starting the construction of the international headquarters for this for the International Society for Krishna Consciousness in Mayapur with the building of the Lotus building in that time, the first building that was coming up in our movement in Mayapur. Since then Maharaj has been serving the mission by traveling all over the world. In fact, I was just talking to Chaitanya Atari Prabhu and it was interesting because he mentioned how Maharaj at one time traveled four continents in a period of 32 hours. And maybe I should repeat that in case you didn't, you kind of missed that then point. Four continents, not four time zones, four continents in 32 hours. So, and I remember meeting Maharaj the first time in 91 in New Zealand Temple when Maharaj arrived only for about four hours. He arrived at Auckland Temple to visit uh, Sri Radha Giridhari where I was serving in 91. And uh, and everybody was excited because it was an honor to have Maharaj for more than four hours. In fact, he stayed in Auckland. He stayed in Auckland for one and a half days and that was considered an enormous honor to have Maharaj. He was such a white traveler. And this was something that he took on from uh, Srila Prabhupada, he felt that somebody had to take on the responsibility that Prabhupada traveled around the world, around the world 12 times in 10 years. And he felt that somebody had to take on that responsibility and he was a willing disciple to do that. So again, I would say we are very honored to have you here, Maharaj. Thank you so much and it's really an honor to have you in Minneapolis. Thank you very much, all of you, for welcoming me. It is our pleasure to be with all of you again. Thank you so much. Um, we have a uh, very fortunate, fortunate to have Casey. Casey is uh, is Polidus Jephthah Mora's nephew. He has come all the way driving files from Milwaukee. Milwaukee. So to meet Maharaj. Yesterday we had a historic meeting of Maharaj's younger brother, Jeff. Uh, so it is kind of a Family Union in Minneapolis is military uh, here uh, from Milwaukee. He also brought down yesterday. So we heartily welcome KC with loud Haribo. Haribo! 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 So in 2008, I had a stroke. So my speech is somewhat impaired. But he'll repeat what I say so you can understand easily. This is my first visit to the uh, Minnesota uh, Minneapolis St. Paul, Tennessee uh, congregation. This is my first visit to the Minnesota Minneapolis St. Paul congregation. I'm very glad to be here. I'm very glad to be here. Very nice to hear that you have a Chana Kathyatra 
Very nice to hear that you have a Jagannath Rathyatra in the first week of May every year. Well, Jagannath is uh, the first TV which has worshipped like this song in uh, the West. Lord Jagannath was the first deity that was worshipped by Iskon in the West. Actually, uh, so Prabhupada in uh, New York City. Actually, Shila Prabhupada in New York City was sitting on his desk. Was sitting on his desk. And uh, Maladi Devi Dasi. And Maladi Devi Dasi. She came in and presented a Jagannath to Shila Prabhupada. She came in and presented a Jagannath to Shila Prabhupada. Which she had picked up at an Indian uh, gift shop. Which she had picked up at an Indian gift shop. And then Prabhupada immediately offered his obeisances. Prabhupada immediately offered his obeisances. And he asked, "Is there two more?" And he one, asked, "Are there two more?" One white face, one uh, yellow face. One white face, one yellow face. She said, yes, I just bought one. She said, "Yes, I just bought one." Can you get the other two? Can you get the other two? So sure. She said, "Sure." So she brought the other two, and then Jagannath uh, Baldev and Subhadra were the first two in Islam. So she brought the other two, and Jagannath Baldev and Subhadra were the first deities in Islam. They literally walked in through the door. They literally walked in through the door. These are very special deities. These are very special deities. Of Krishna and Balaram and Subhadra in Dwaraka. Subhadra had also grown up in Vrindavan. Because Subhadra had also grown up in Vrindavan. She saw the childhood pastimes of Lord Krishna. She saw the childhood pastimes of Lord Krishna. So, he was telling all the. So Rohini was telling all the queens of Dwaraka the childhood pastimes of Krishna and Balram. And he asked Subhadra to stand watch at the door. If Krishna and Balram come, then she should give a warning. Because if they hear the childhood pastimes, they'll become very ecstatic. You never get tired of hearing Krishna's pastimes again and again. So Subhadra was at the door, listening. And she became so ecstatic. And she became so ecstatic. Uh, pulled into her arms and her body. That her hands and arms pulled into her body. And uh, her eyes opened wide. And her eyes opened wide. She was smiling. She was smiling. And Krishna and Balaram came. And then Krishna and Balaram came. And they saw her and they said, what's happening here? And they saw her and they said, what's happening here? So they listened also. And when they heard the childhood pastimes, they took this form. Their eyes opened wide. Big smile. So we have Jagannath, Baldev, and Subhadra. So in Jagannath Puri, they have a big temple. And they're known as Nila Chala Chandra. But every year they go to Gundicha. Which is not different from Vrindavan. And that's known as Sundara Chala. So sometimes they sing. Nila Chala Jagannath, 
You see, in Bengali they say Amal. But in Oriya they say Amu. 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 Amu Jagannath. Prabhu Jagannath. So, I don't know. So anyway, very nice to see that you're worshipping Krishna and Balram in their form as Jagannath. Actually there was some uh, you know, these are ancient deities. So these are very ancient deities. Thousands and thousands of years old. Thousands and thousands of years old. And, uh, the creator of the universe, and the creator, Lord, Lord Brahma, the creator of the universe, Lord Brahma, he had personally installed the deities. He had personally installed the deities. So, <coughs> at the time of King uh, Indraduna, at the time of King Indraduna, there was a demon. There was a demon. Who like to, uh, kill the priests and, uh, Who liked to kill the priests and Brahmanas drink their blood. and drink their blood. He so he was known as Rakta Bahu. And, uh, the priests were afraid. And the priests were afraid. So they moved Jagannath Baldev and Subhadra to Mayapur. And then Indradimna Maharaj came and he killed the demon. So then Jagannath Baldev and Subhadra came back to Jagannath Puri. About 500 years ago, that deity again manifested in Mayapur and is still there. And he's very active, has lots of uh, pastimes. And he's very active, he has lots of pastimes. One pastime, One pastime that happened a couple of years ago. One Muslim brother he came to the temple. He came to the temple. So, in that, that temple, they allow. So at that temple, they allow people of different faiths to attend. So the priest offered him some prasadam. But he threw it away. I don't worship idols. So then why did you come? You're committing an offense. Don't come. Don't come. So then, he then he walked off. The next day he came back. The next day he came back. This time he offered his prostrate obeisances. This time he offered his prostrate obeisances. He came up to the pujari, the priest. He came up to the pujari, the priest. A sacrament. He begged, please give me a prasadam, please give me a sacrament. The pujari said, are you crazy? Yesterday you threw the prasad. Today you're begging for it? What happened to you? He said, last night in my dream. The deity with the white face. He grabbed me by the neck. He said, you threw my brother's sacrament on the ground. I'm going to get you. And the lady with the yellow face, she said, get him, get him. I was so afraid. And then the one with the black face with the big smile. He said, oh, let him go. He didn't commit that big of an offense. It was his first time also. Now I believe. Now I believe. I believe. I do believe. 
I'll never throw a prashad again. Please give me. <laughs> so these deities have a whole book of pastimes. And the Navadi Dham is nine islands. And this Jagannath deity is in the first island. Known as Srimantadi. There, Parvati, she came. She came. First, she went. She was traveling all the universe. First, she was traveling over the universe. She's an angel. She's a divine energy of Krishna. She's an angel. She's a divine energy of Krishna. So, uh, she. Uh, she started seeing that earthquakes, tsunamis started happening. And she could tell that her husband Shiva was dancing. But it wasn't time for the universal destruction. So then she raced back to Kailash. To find her husband chanting. Goranga. 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 Can you fix the mic? Goranga. Goranga. Fix the mic. It's too far, no? Parvati called out, Swami, Swami. What have you done? You've broken my ecstasy. I'm sorry, the universe is falling apart by your dancing. I'm the mother of the whole creation on the behalf of God I have to see to everyone's well-being so, oh, I'm sorry I didn't want to disturb your ecstasy but so I'm sorry I didn't want to disturb your ecstasy but you are causing uh, destruction you are causing destruction okay sorry. it's alright uh, by the way Swami by the way Swami Hello. Prabhu Oh, what were you chanting? Oh, Gauranga. Oh, Gauranga. Who is that Gauranga? Oh, in the age of Kali. Oh, in the age of Kali. Uh, he comes and gives freely love of God. He comes out and gives freely love of Godhead. Really? Really? Even I can get it. Even I can get it. Why not? Why not? You know, he doesn't distinguish who's qualified, who's not qualified. He gives to everybody. Where can I see him? And where can I see him? Oh. He stays eternally in Navadipam. Well, he stays eternally in Navadipam. If you chant his names, he may reveal himself to you. So she came to Shimantadi. And she started to chant. Goranga. Goranga. So Lord Goranga appeared to her and said, Why are you calling me? And said, Why are you calling me? To have uh, given me the uh, service to uh, 
Idris Hotel Road on the my protection. You have given me the service to keep this material world under my protection. And to keep the conditioned souls here as a prisoner. And to keep the conditioned souls here as prisoners. But they don't realize that they're actually prisoners. But they don't realize that they're actually prisoners. But the devotees. But the devotees. Uh, they don't associate with me. They don't associate with me. They're busy delivering uh, people and taking them back to Godhead. Because they're busy delivering people and taking them back to Godhead. So they describe me as the witch Maya. So they describe me as the witch Maya. And they don't like to associate with me. And they don't like to associate with me. They don't want any material things from me. They don't want any material things from me. I hear that you are giving out your love of yourself. So I hear that you're giving out pure love of yourself. The love of God. Pure love of God. So, I want to get your mercy. so I want to get your mercy. I also want love of God. I also want love of Godhead. So well, he said, well, you're an expansion of Radharani, my supreme energy. My supreme energy. Here. And here, you can realize your non-difference from Srimati Radha. And she suddenly achieved love of Krishna, love of Godhead. She took the dust from Lord Goranga's lotus feet. She took the dust from Lord Goranga's lotus feet and put it on her head. That that part of the hair of a lady is called the residence of the goddess of fortune. So that part of the head of a lady is known as the residence of the goddess of fortune. Or the Shimanta. Or the Shimanta. So that island is named after her. So that island is named after her. Shimantadi. Shimantadi. So you establish the Lord Chaitanya and the Shimantini and Didi. We establish the Lord Chaitanya and Shimantini Didi. Nearby the Lord Jagannath. Nearby the Lord Jagannath. Jagannath also gives this prasadam. Because Jagannath also gives his prasadam. So, uh, Bimla? Uh, Bimla Devi. To Bimla Devi. Which is a form of Bhagavati. Which is a form of Bhagavati. So then, uh, so we hope that you sometimes can come to my Dham. So we hope that you can sometimes come to Mayapur Dham. See the uh, nine islands. See the nine islands. Prabhupada said that Mayapur is part of the art is on the table. It's part of the eight islands of Prabhupada said that our Iskan Island is Iskan Temple is partly on the island of Rudra Dui and, uh, and partly in the Antar Dui. So that's the island of friendship with the Supreme Lord and the island of total surrender to the Supreme Lord. So, uh, Uh, I'm very happy that I also uh, practicing the uh, Bhakti Riksha. So now we're very happy that you're also practicing the Bhakti Riksha. Uh, up to 1994, uh, we only have the uh, we only had the Nam Hatta, which were the small groups, which were the small groups, mainly in rural places. Mainly in rural places. But as the uh, as Prabhupada's centennial, 1996 was approaching. But as Prabhupada's centennial, 1996 was approaching. We wanted to establish more presence in the cities. 
and to give an opportunity for the congregation to practice in the cities. So I was made a fellow coordinator, petal coordinator. So we had a lotus with ten petals. And one petal was congregational development. So then I, uh, with the help of uh, different uh, devotees, so then I, with the help of different devotees, we studied the books of Lord Chaitanya. Found that in the Navadip town, and found that in the Navadip town, he had asked devotees. He had asked devotees in small groups, in small groups to, chant Hare Krishna at the doorstep. to chant Hare Krishna at the doorstep in their verandas. In their verandas. And, in this way, and in this way, they would also study the Gita and Bhagavatam. So they came up with the uh, uh, program of the uh, so we came up with the program of the Bhakti Vriksha group. And we found out some other uh, religions were doing similar things. And we found that some other religions were doing similar things. Well, we mainly took the advice from our own tradition. But we mainly took the advice from our own tradition. So then uh, now the well, a dozen teachers around the world. Now there are about a dozen teachers around the world. And Chaitanya uh, Avatari is one of the leading teachers. And Chaitanya Avatari is one of the leading teachers. Uh, recently I was in uh, Australia. Recently I was in Australia. And I was surprised to learn. And I was surprised to learn. That the Australians use that the Australians use Chaitanya Avatari system. Also in China. And also in China. Uh, I understand also here in Minnesota. And I understand also here in Minnesota. So of course he's doing it in uh, Bangalore. Of course he's doing it in Bangalore. And different parts of uh, India. And different parts of India. So the idea is that in this age of Kali, so the idea is that in this age of Kali, we should take Lord Chaitanya's mercy. We should take Lord Chaitanya's mercy. And that was brought, his mercy was also brought to the West. And his mercy was also brought to the West. By Shri By Shri It's a rare opportunity. And it's a rare opportunity. Every tradition says, love God. Every tradition says, love God. We don't tell how to love God. But they don't tell how to love God. Bhakti Yoga is the system. Bhakti Yoga is the system. That awakens our dormant love for Godhead. That awakens our dormant love for Godhead. So that was telling an example. And you know, Srila Prabhupada was telling one example. And you go into some office. That you go into some office. You see all the clerks have big uh, desks filled with files. You see all the clerks have desks filled with big files. No, they, 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 it's all the computers. It used to be big files. Nowadays, maybe it's all the computer, but it used to be big files. But you always see the head of the office. You go to see the head of the office. The head of the company. The head of the company. His desk is empty. His desk is empty. So like that, Krishna has nothing to do. So like that, Krishna has nothing to do. Being the Supreme Lord. Being the Supreme Lord. Anything he wants. Anything he wants. It happens. It happens. What? What he likes. But what he likes. Is he comes down as an avatar. Is he comes down as an avatar. Kingdom, or, world. or in his own kingdom, his own spiritual world. He does different pastimes. He does different pastimes. Like dramatic performances. Like dramatic performances. And uh, 
He came down as Ram, he fought against Ravana. He came down as Varahadev, he fought against Hiranyaksha. He came as Narasimhadev and fought against Hiranyakashipu. Krishna had the Mahabharat battle at Kurukshetra, but he didn't lift the weapon. He let Arjuna take the credit. But Lord Chaitanya came. He said that I will not carry any weapon of violence. His weapon was his personal beauty, chanting the holy names, dancing in ecstasy, taking the holy prasadam, festivals, festivals. So, this is a special mercy. So this is a special mercy. And uh, when Krishna was a child, he used to steal butter. He would do monkeys. When Krishna was a child, he would steal butter, butter and give it to the monkeys. Lord Chaitanya, he broke open the treasure house of love and order. Lord Chaitanya broke open the treasure house of love of Godhead. <laughs> And you, like monkeys, can take it. and you, like monkeys, can take it. <laughs> if you want. There's a song written in Bengali by Bhakti Vinod Thakur. That's the Jeep Jago song they sing in the morning. And, uh, in the last two verses. In the last two verses, Lord Chaitanya says. Lord Chaitanya says. Kotojan Bangla Jana Hindi Jante I know a few Indian languages. Anyway, what what should I say? I have brought the medicine. For Maya. What Lord Chaitanya is saying, I've brought the medicine for Maya. That medicine cures death, old age, disease. That medicine cures death, old age, disease. And rebirth. And rebirth. And rebirth. What, a good take what, that, you what a good medicine. You take that, you don't die. You don't get old. You don't get disease. You don't get disease. After this life. After this life. So, he said, if you want the medicine, he said, if you want the medicine, ask for it. Ask for it. I'll give it. And the last verse, Bhakti Vinod said, Bhakti Vinod said, that translated is. That translated is. I fell at the feet of the Lord. I fell at the feet of the Lord. I begged. I begged. Give me the medicine. Give me the medicine. And he gave me the Harinama medicine. And he gave me the Harinama medicine. I got it! 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 That's how you should all feel. That's how you should all feel.
If you get the Harina Mahamantra, you don't have to pay anything. It's free. Just ask for it. Chant it. When Krishna was in Dwarka, Rukmini called him, told him that you're the Supreme Lord. You know what's happening all over the universe. You know what's happening in Kailash. You know everything. But one thing you don't know. I know. I know. Radharani knows. But it seems you don't know. Now nobody told Krishna that there's something he didn't know. So he was startled. What's that I don't know? And Rukmini told him, You don't know. How much we devotees love you. And in what way we love you. Because he being the Lord, everybody loves him. But he didn't know what it's like to have love of Godhead. Being God. So then he tried to pacify So then he tried to pacify the queen. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. Uh, now, Narad Muni who was playing the part of Krishna's guru, he came in. So Krishna gave him a formal bad puja reception <coughs> because he was playing the part of a kshatriya. A king. Respecting his guru. But he saw that Narad Muni was also agitated. He said, Narad, you're usually always peaceful, controlled, but today you seem agitated. Why? Why? What a day. My wife tells me I don't know and my guru is agitated. Why, why are you so disturbed? So why are you so disturbed? And my Lord, she said, he said, my Lord. I see that people are becoming more materialistic. I see that people are becoming more materialistic. That means that, like, when the sun sets. That means, like, that, like, when the sun sets. Your pastimes are soon to leave this universe. Your pastimes are soon to leave this universe. And uh, I'm worried. I'm worried. What will happen to people in the Iron Age? What will happen to people in the Iron Age? In the modern age. In the modern age. How will they get back to Godhead? How will they get back to Godhead? Okay, I promise you. Okay, I promise you. Krishna said. I will come back. I will come back. In Kali Yuga. In Kali Yuga. But I will not come as the Lord. But I will not come as the Lord. I'll come in disguise as my devotee. I'll come in disguise as my devotee. And I will distribute the chanting of the holy names. And I will distribute the chanting of the holy names. And I will explain the love of uh, and I will experience the love that my devotees have. I will play the part of a devotee. So, <coughs> that's why Lord Chaitanya came. That's why Lord Chaitanya came. Four thousand five hundred years in the Kali Yuga. Four thousand five hundred years in the Kali Yuga. Krishna told the uh, Ganges and other sacred rivers. Krishna told the Ganges and other sacred rivers. 
that after 5,000 years, he would send a devotee who would spread the Harinam all over the world. So Prabhupada came exactly at 5,000 years. And he spread the holy name all over the world. And his, his guru, and his guru told him that anybody who helps you also gets great spiritual benefit. Who here would like to help Srila Prabhupada? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. One easy way for the grihastas to help. So one easy way for the grihastas to help. The married people. The married people. Is to practice the bhakti vritsha. Is to practice the bhakti vritsha. Meet once a week. Meet once a week. And uh, have some discussion. And have some discussion. Have some chanting. Have some chanting. Uh, have some strategy session. Have some other programs. Have some other programs. <laughs> which Jai Dhanavadari would tell you. Which would tell you. And take some prasada. And take some prasada. Take about one and a half, two hours. Takes about one and a half, two hours. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I have people come to me. See, Bangalore is a modern city. But it's cursed with traffic jams. Big traffic jams. How much? 8 billion people in the world? Or 1 billion and about 1 billion, 20 million are in India. And uh, so Bangalore is the uh, IT hub. So Bangalore is the IT hub. Although it's competing with uh, Hyderabad. Although it's competing with Hyderabad. So, <coughs> big traffic jam. So big traffic jam. So one lady, she came to me. Guru Dev. Although it's only 20 kilometers from the temple, it takes two hours to reach. And we only have one car. I can only go on some special days. But thanks to you, I have the Bhakti Riksha just two blocks away from our house. I can attend every week. And I can attend every week. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so thank much. You so much. <laughs> thank you so much. You know what that feels like? You know what that feels like? If someone, they really, really appreciate. When someone they really, really appreciate. So, it's all here. Yeah. And, uh, to earn. So you all stay here to earn. And many of you become citizens or green card holders. And some of you are Americans. Some of you are Americans. Uh, but, uh, side by side, it's side by side, Ishopanishad tells us. We should see the material world and we should see the spiritual world. We should see the material world and we should see the spiritual world. We should do both. We should do both. This way we can uh, achieve all the success. This way we can achieve all the success. I see a lot of young people here. I see a lot of young people here. And, uh, it's very important. and it's very important. That you also practice from a young age. That you also practice from a young age. I joined when I was nineteen. I joined when I was nineteen. Throughout the first nineteen years of my life. Throughout the first nineteen years of my life. 
not so useful. Was not so useful. Of course, studying and all that, but if I had been born in a Krishna conscious family, I think that would have been nicer. But anyway, I was born in a religious family. But you have the opportunity, you're born in a Krishna conscious family. You can practice the system of Lord Chaitanya. Chanting the holy name. Having bhakti rikshas. Ladies, men, ladies, ladies, men, youths, they can all be servant leaders of bhakti riksha. In this way, you may have a temple here also. But the bhakti riksha can still go on. But then they help also the temple. So in this way, see one disciple came to me. She said my father was working in America. And in those days he got more than a hundred thousand dollars. So he had his house built in Bangalore. But I couldn't help him. When he came to my house, me, my wife, children, we were worshipping Krishna. He said, you're young, you should enjoy, go to the movies. That was his idea of enjoyment. And he said, well, Dad, we are enjoying. We enjoy the spiritual life. Spiritual life. The youth today, they don't understand how to enjoy life. Then he retired and went back home to India. So his younger brother said, why don't you go to the holy places? He said, I have. I've been to, I've been to Sri Rangam, Tirupati, Guru Ayur. But I can't keep my mind there. I keep thinking. How will I invest my money? On fixed deposits. What funds? Mutual, mutual funds. How to save the money? How to save the money? Where will I get more interest? Why are you worrying about this? Now you should prepare to leave your body. Go back to Godhead. I have to marry my daughters. The daughters are all married. Your, daughter, your daughters are all married. My granddaughters. My granddaughters. So the father will see them. Their father will see. <laughs> like this, he breathes his last. So he made all the money, but he didn't invest anything in spiritual life. Side by side. We're saying side by side. Get your house, get your material assets, whatever, you get your career. But on the other side, see your spiritual development. Don't waste your life only in material things, which are by nature temporary. See your spiritual life. See your spiritual life. 
chant Hare Krishna. Do some service. Help others to get out of this illusion. We are the living force in the body. The body dies. The living force never dies. It will go on to another body. In this way we take birth after birth after birth. But if we take this opportunity in the golden age, then we can develop our love for Godhead. So, I should open up for some questions. Difference between Namahat and Bhakti Vriksha. It's the difference between Namahat and Bhakti Vriksha. Bhakti Vriksha is a kind of Namahat. Bhakti Vriksha is a kind of Namahat. Namahat means literally the one of the Holy Name. Namhatta literally means the market of the holy name. Usually you have some advanced devotee. Usually you have some advanced devotee who gives a class. Who gives a class. Before the class, people will chant the Hari Nam. Before the class, people will chant the Hari Nam. After the class, they have question answer. After the class, they have question answer. Then they have a prasad. And then they have prasadam. Sanctified food. So that's Namhat. And they grow and grow and grow. The Bhakti Vriksha, like a branch of the devotional tree. We keep it small because people living in an urban setting. And we keep it small because people living in an urban setting usually don't have big halls. Usually don't have big halls. They can fit about 15 people. Maybe 20 people in a living room. That's already packed. So in a small group. They know each other better. They have some icebreakers. A little kirtan. Instead of a class where the leader gives and everyone listens, everyone participates. They do some reading. Which may be done by the servant leader or the, or the whole group. Paragraph by paragraph. Then they have discovery. Where they pick out what are the special topics. And then they have understanding. And then they have understanding. The servant leader may accept or select one of those topics. Everybody understands that the sons of the Everybody understands that 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 discussion. And they discuss it. They understand it by discussing it. And then they have application. Which may be like their realization. Or what their guru said on the topic. Or what some shastra says. Some scripture. Some example. 
or their own personal realization. Like one lady, she was attending so many classes of Namhata Temple. And there they repeatedly say in the different classes that better if one can be a vegetarian. But then in the Bhakti Vriksha they were discussing how one, how one, if you eat fish, you could become a cat or a tiger in your next life. And they have a picture in the Bhagavad Gita of this. So then they ask each one to tell their realization. When it came to her, she said, if I, have, if I have to become a cat or a tiger by eating fish, then from today on, no more fish. <laughs> Then they discuss their strategies. How to make the Bhakti Riksha grow. Or let's say they have this Jagannath festival. The different Bhakti Vrikshas are given different services. And they may discuss how they'll do that. Then some puja, prasadam. Like this. You see, Bhakti Vrikshas are more interactive. It's what young people generally like it more. Some people like the kind of back. <laughs> Some people kind of like to sit in the back. Eh? <laughs> when is the meal? <laughs> you can't do that in a bhakti fiction. Because you keep getting called. <laughs> Otherwise, the bhakti fiction is basically a namhat meant for the urban setting. Some people like to do that, some people like pretty something. And at the end of the class, some people like to read. Some people have 60 or 57 or 63 different verses. Some people have 60 or 57 or 63 predetermined verses. Some people just read from the Bhagavad Gita. And some people just read from the Bhagavad Gita. But at the end of the uh, assigned period. So at the end of the assigned period. They sometimes find some groups multiply into two, or some three, or some, three, or some four. Or some four. But, 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 no, but Namahatas usually don't multiply. As the, uh, uh, the minister now of congregational development, a co-minister, co -minister, uh, I, have I have to be neutral. Different teachers like Chaitanya Avadari. Different teachers like Chaitanya Avadari. They have a slight difference. They have a slight difference. <laughs> I have to live with everybody. I have to live with everybody. <laughs> so they ask me what's the best. So they ask me what's the best. <laughs> Tell the tree by its fruit. Any other question? How much uh, how much time 
uh, how can we find time to to organize bhakti diksha given that we have busy life? It's only one day a week. One two hour session in the evening. And those that rise up become sector leaders or circle leaders. They may one day a week attend the Bhakti Riksha. Sometimes they also attend organizational Sometimes they also attend organizational meetings. And no more than one or two days a week. So a little time you have to dedicate. How to keep up our enthusiasm in performing the devotional service all the time? How to keep up enthusiasm in performing devotional service all the time? There are eight levels of devotion. Starts with faith. Associating with devotees. Practicing the bhakti. Getting rid of the unwanted anarthas, the unwanted habits. And then being fixed. So as you rise up, you become more fixed. And you get a taste. It's called ruchi. And that taste is so sweet. More sweet than anything else. You get attached. And then from your attachment of the spiritual life, you get ecstatic love of Krishna. Tears come to your eyes. Your hair stand on end. Your voice chokes up. Ashta Sati Kabha. Eight types of ecstatic symptoms. By that time, you don't worry how to, how to not keep up your enthusiasm. <laughs> So you start out 1% spiritual and 99% material. So you start out 1% spiritual and 99% material. By the time you're at ecstatic love, you're at 1% material and 99% spiritual. And then, uh, I feel like the and then if you have God realization, you get 100% pure love. Madhavendra Puri, he had this pure love. He would see a rain cloud and he would think of Krishna. He'd faint on the ground. He'd cry. Prabhupada said it took him 20 years to reach perfection. How long will it take you? <laughs> so, by the mercy of Guru Vaishnavas Krishna, you can become Krishna conscious even in one second. Or it may take longer.